Hey everyone, today is September the 6th, 2014. Each week I get requests from people wanting to know, should I memorize the Latin endings and how do I memorize the Latin endings? Those of you who know me well know that I actually recommend memorizing them as you go through a book. I recommend that you just learn Latin by extensive reading which is why I'm constantly recommending the book Lingua Latina by Hans Orberg. It's the greatest. There's nothing out there like it. However, if you want to memorize the Latin endings, I'm going to show you how to do it in this series of videos. We'll go through the Visual Latin course. These are bonus videos you can add to the Visual Latin course. And this first video comes from Visual Latin 1, and it's from Lessons 1 and 2. The first... Thing that you would need to memorize is a verb. And this verb is the verb esse, which is an infinitive. We'll talk about that some other time, so ignore that for now. But what you first see in the first chapters of Visual Latin, or the first videos of Visual Latin, in particular are these guys here, est and sunt. Est and sunt are part of a bigger verb system, and the, the present tense of that verb system is is what you see listed here. Sum es est, sumus estis sunt. So if you want to memorize them, I suggest you just go down that list and repeat that a couple of times or a dozen times until you've got it. Sum es est, sumus estis sunt. Just over and over again until you've got it. You could write it on a 3x5 card and carry it around with you or type it out and look at it every time you open your computer. But what does it mean? This is actually a verb, and this is going to get a little more detailed at this point, but this is actually a verb, and the meaning of the verb is I am, so sum means I am, s means you are, est means he, she, or it, is, it can also simply mean is, and it can also mean there is. There is. So he, she, or it is, just is, or there is. And of course the common theme that you see here is is. I would go with is. Usually, I would always start with that translation. Sumus means we are. Estis means you, but this time it's plural. Are and sunt means they are. That's all explanation. Again, if you just want to memorize it, just run through this list here, sum s s sum s s sunt multiple times. We're just going into a little bit of analysis on this. This group of six words is divided right here. These guys on top are singular. These are singular which explains why over here we have I am, you are, he, she, or it is. And these on the bottom, these three on the bottom, sumus estes sunt, they are plural. And if you want to, if you want all the grammar behind this, this is first person, so you use it when you're talking about yourself. This is second person, you use it when you're talking to someone else. And this is third person, you use it when you're talking about someone else. You use it when you're gossiping. I can't believe what she said to me. This is first person plural. This is second person plural. And this is third person plural. But back to the basics of this video. If you simply want to memorize the endings, just chant this to yourself when you're going through Visual Latin 1 and 2. Uh, chapter, or lesson 1, sorry, and lesson 2. Sum es est, sumus est sunt. Chant it over and over again until you've got it memorized. Hope that helped, guys. If you want more, you can always visit my website, DwayneThomas.com, or you can subscribe simply by clicking on the word subscribe right there that you see. That was a badly drawn arrow. All right, guys, I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.